In this project, I tried to create with just a single prompt, Snake, Pong, Tetris, Eggman, and Chess in DeepSeek AI. So here are the results. Let's start with Snake. This is the prompt I used for all the other games as well. So create the game Snake in a modern design by just using one HTML code. As you can see, the AI took for about eight seconds to analyze the problem and set up a plan to solve the problem. Right here, you can see the game logic the snake moves continuously each frame update the head position based on the direction check for collision with walls or itself if the head hits the food increase the score grow the snake and reposition the food so that's the concept down here we have the testing putting it all together structure the html with a canvas score display and game over division a different style everything with css write the javascript to handle game logic rendering and user input so we have all these steps and right here we have the html code down here we ha even have the features of the game snake and how to play so desktop use arrow keys mobile use virtual buttons or swipe gestures and right here click play again when game is over so let's try this one on the desktop click on one okay so the play again button is, is a little bit off but if we use the arrows on the keyboard the game is working pretty well or just a little sentence put in this ai so let's try with these arrows as well and as you can see it's a little bit hard but it's working as well and the score is also updating so let's try to get to 100 and then let's crash into the wall or into the snake itself to test this feature out as well okay so 20 score left and now we want to crash yes so the game is over final score 110 and we can play again so i try to play again but right here the button of the top arrow up arrow is right here so we have to click on the right side of the button but that's fixable within a few seconds probably for the ai so this test is a success let's go to pong create the game pong in a modern design by just using one html code then we have the html code the description the game features ball speed increases with each hit computer controlled left pedal score tracking ball reset after each point constraint a constraint pedal movement smooth animation and modern visual effects so let's start this game as well one html and as you can see we have a pretty nice interface so on top we have the score left to right the pedals in the middle the ball and down here the blue start button let's start okay and now we have a problem so the ball went from the start to the computer and is now stuck let's try again if this is just a single error or if it's really a bug in the program but as you can see the game is working pretty well the ball is in the playground the ball is getting faster and faster and the score is also working good okay so this is a bug which is also probably getting fixed within two minutes for the ai so this one is also a success with just one little prompt the whole game is created and we can now customize colors style whatever we would like to have this game set up for ourselves then we have the next one the modern tetris game so i'm excited about this one because i think it's getting a little bit more complex let's go to the top so here's in the exact same prompt and down here use arrow keys to move and rotate pieces bar space bar for hard drop game speed increases with each level score increases based 
based on lines cleared and current level. So as you can see, we even have different levels. I hope they are working. If we click on one HTML, we have this overlay, which looks okay, but somehow the pieces are missing to play with. So I think that's not working that good. Um, let's try to copy this code and paste it right here, but also right here we do not have the, the game. Let's try to paste this prompt again into the AI and let's take a look if we get another result or if the result will be the exact same. So it's a little bit weird. So we have all these, these features listed down here, the pieces and so on, but not a single piece is visible. So the AI is working right now again. And then we can click on one HTML. Maybe it takes 10 more seconds. Okay, so this one is finished again. And as you can see, the AI adjusted some descriptions down here. We now have the arrows in the description and we can click on one HTML again. Okay. So we now have some pieces, but I don't know what's happening. What is happening right here? So the game looks a little bit better. We can even see the next piece, but what is that big block? If we press spacebar, the blocks are falling down, but we cannot move directly to the side, to the left, whatever. Okay, so the game is over again and we were not able to play once correctly. So this is not possible with just this little prompt sentence. So let's go back and let's try Pac-Man. Right here we have Pac-Man. Pac so use arrow keys to move, collect dots to increase score, avoid the colored ghosts. The game resets when hitting a go. Okay, so let's click on one. And as you can see, this one looks like Pac-Man. We can move with the arrows, go to the left, go to the right. We can even stay on the arrow to move a little bit faster. And if, if we get hit, the game is over for a second. So the ghosts are are a little bit fast I think in the real game they are not that fast so maybe you can just decrease the speed by 50% and the game would be really good playable the score is working on the top left corner and gets resetted if I get by the ghost the movement is solid yes that's also working so that's a win and let's move on to the last one to the chess game I'm really excited because I think this one is the most complex one one for the AI. Right here we have the exact same prompt. If we scroll down we have the features. So click to select piece only valid pieces for current player. Click again to move selected piece. Turn indicator shows which player's turn it is. How move history tracks all moves made. Visual feedback for selected piece and possible moves. Responsive design that works on mobile devices. Modern dark theme with contrasting colors. So now now I'm pretty excited. Let's click on one HTML and that looks like chess. So we have black, we have white. The contrast on these little light pieces, white pieces is a little bit low. So they are not good, that good visible. But if we move them, it's possible. Now black's turn, now white again, black again. Okay, so the black pieces, if they move, as you can see, they turn black somehow. I think it's fixable within a, sec a second as well. Let's now try to get this piece out. That's working as well. That's working also. Okay, that shouldn't be possible. So let's check and we shouldn't be able to move this piece. So the game is logically not completed right now. But I think if we put in 10 more minutes, this game should be working pretty well and you could play against the compu uh, computer, maybe against uh, another player on the mobile phone, whatever. 
So all in all, four is four out of five games are probably fixable in one or two seconds. So I'm pretty happy with these results and I'm impressed that the new DeepSeek AI is able to create with just a single prompt these features, these games. Yes, let me know in the comments what I should test next with this DeepSeek AI.